We're going to take you back to that uh, French story we were telling about earlier on. Uh, France uh, in facing big divisions, really, within the ruling Socialist Party amid uh, a vote in uh, Parliament today. Nick Rushworth is here. Of course, that's the main story uh, dominating the papers today. It is it? indeed, Stuart. Let's turn right away to the right-wing paper, Le Figaro, which is looking at the divisions among the ruling Socialists, and it's saying, well, the divorce between the rebels within the party and um, the powers that be has been consummated. Mm -hmm. um, MPs on the left failed by just two votes to bring their own votes of no confidence on Wednesday and effectively sack the Prime Minister, Manuel Valls. That would have been a first in the Fifth Republic, Stuart, as we know. And the paper there banging home, it was the Socialist Party versus the Socialist Party. They are in tatters with one year to go before that presidential election here in France. All the papers covering it, of course, you found one piece in uh, the Président aujourd'hui en France. Well, uh, that paper is reporting that Valls was saved by the allies of Martine Aubry. Now, Martine Aubry is the mayor of Lille, the daughter of Jacques Delors, a heavyweight in the Socialist Party. And um, that paper there, you can see the story there, is quotes uh, one of her supporters, François Lamy, who says that Aubry did not, face a did not favour a worst-case scenario situation and did not favour a socialist split, which was seemed to be in the offing here. Offing. So uh, what she believes and what many on the left believe is that this uh, Vals Hollande uh, bid to reform the Labour Code is simply giving more um, um, leeway to the employers and erodes workers' rights. That's how they see it. Um, Aubrey has been um, vitriolic against it for, uh, for weeks. Now, let's go to the left-wing paper Liberation, which is saying, well, the scenes we're seeing in, among the socialists in Parliament are grotesque. But there you can see, is it um, their bid to actually force a censure motion? Uh, was it um, a calculated failure? And it's saying, well, there has been political um, manoeuvring behind the scenes with the, ne the rebels knowing they could make a lot of noise, but assuming they would not get the 58 votes that they needed from the Greens, the far left, the communists and the socialists. And that they they did, in fact, just get too short. They got 56. And um, this is all to do, according to Liberation, with the fact that selection procedures now for the legislative and senatorial elections are in, in the offing. So they're looking to a different side of the game. So um, that whole situation really pointing to the, the fact that there's lots of um, political um, shenanigans going on in Parliament, which is um, the usual situation. Is it This Thursday, we'll see the right wing, Les Républicains, put their foot forward their no confidence motion. That will go nowhere against this government. Well, this uh, next story is really going to help the socialists sort themselves out, assuming it's true. Um, the investigative website Media Part is reporting that uh, France's economy minister, Emmanuel Macron, may be about to declare a bid uh, for the French presidency himself. Well, this is a scoop from uh, Media Part, which we know is the um, very uh, well re re reputable um, investigative website. Uh, and there you can see their headline, uh, Macron ready to declare his candidacy. That would be on the 10th of June. He has created a new political movement called En Marche, mm. which is centrist, neither left nor right. So people are asking, well, what is it then? And of course, um, the media part there saying that uh, he's making it very clear that he has huge political aims. He's willing to go as far as he can um, in terms of his political ambition. This story by media part has been picked up by L'Opinion, the right wing paper, which says that um, Macron uh, supporters have denied that there is any intention on his part to um, make a bid for um, the presidency 2017. And it suggests there's a political game ag ag going on again, as we saw earlier with the socialists in parliament. The political game this time, according to Le Pignon, would be a kind of subterfuge in which uh, Macron uh, runs for the presidency, he gets some votes on the left and in the centre with a pro-business uh, platform um, and in that whole idea of not left, not right. And then he would transfer his allegiance to Hollande in the second round runoff. Right. So um, that, of course, is all um, quote unquote and, and not uh, official, yeah. but uh, the word subterfuge bled out at me in that article by Le Pignon. It sounds like the word to follow, yeah. I understand that one, Nick. Uh, away from politics now, let's talk about something different. Football uh, is making some of the buzz here. Well, uh, 10th of 
June, that date, is the mm -hmm. start of the Euro Football Championships. And after that, uh, that will run for a month, 10th of June to 10th of July. And then we've got the Rio Olympics. So there's a massive raft of sport heading our way, be warned. <laughs> <laughs> and if Didier Deschamps makes the, the front page of L'Equipe, um, he is a national hero, isn't he? La force tranquille. Um, the quiet strength that translates as the coach there, Didier Deschamps in the photo. Now, um, that was actually a slogan for François Mitterrand mm -hmm. in years past. Now, um, he is going to announce his uh, choice of 23 players for the France Euro team um, this Thursday evening on primetime okay. TV. Right. So um, one of the comments in the papers is, well, how do you possibly make a selection when 66 million other French people know they have the right decision? <laughs> so um, Didier Deschamps yeah. um, is, 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 according to L'Equipe, likely to stick with um, the, the, the team that w really played well against Russia and the Netherlands um, in um, in March. So um, there, the paper there, giving you the full spread. Uh, the Euro tournament begins this evening. Mm. So uh, watch out for all that um, tackling, um, Stuart. OK, well, if you're into your football, uh, particularly if you're in Europe as well, that's the one to watch. Apparently that team then being announced tonight. Thank you very much, Nick. I'm sure uh, all the other countries will follow suit very, very shortly.